Hey guys, Melissa here. Today I am working on an oil painting on Frederick's canvas panel. This panel was a bit of an experiment for me. It's a little looser style than I normally go for. I used various brands of oil paints. Um, Richeson, Windsor & Newton, Gamblin, Rembrandt are some of my favorite brands. Um, the exact colors don't matter, but just make sure you're using more artist quality paints than student quality paints. Um, you will notice quite a big difference in what you're working with. Um, my preferred paint brushes are currently the Master's Touch brushes. These are a generic house brand uh, that Hobby Lobby puts out. They're relatively inexpensive and I like the way they move the paint around. Um, other than that, there's nothing really that special about them. You can use whatever paint brushes you happen to have. Um, I prefer their synthetic hog hair and Taclon bristle brushes for the most part. And they're all like the longer handle brushes. Um, it's just a little easier for me to, to work with the paint with those. Um, I believe I'm also using a Zen paintbrush. I think that's by Royal and Langnickel. Um, correct me if I'm wrong though. <laughs> I usually use liquid as my medium since I prefer to have my paintings dry pretty quickly. Uh, I started out as an acrylic painter. Uh, but since this painting was done in the winter in New England, um, I can't have my windows open like I normally would. Liquin's a pretty strong smelling medium. Um, it can actually be harmful to breathe in in enclosed spaces for a long time. So I try not to use this medium in the winter. Instead, I tried out Gamblin Solvent Free Fluid for the first time. This one is safe to use indoors and safe to breathe in when you can't have windows open. Um, it has a bit of a strange smell to it, but not a bad smell. Uh, I did like how this worked out to thin the paint but it did take several days for my paint to dry, so it wouldn't be ideal for glazing if that's what you were trying to do. Since I wasn't doing any glazing in this painting, uh, that didn't really matter so much for me. The reference photo that I used for this was my own. I set up a bunch of ornaments in my house and took probably about 50 pictures before I found one that I liked. Uh, the ornaments that I had were not the colors that you see me using here, and some of them weren't the same size. I used a little artistic license and changed them to whatever I thought would look nice. Um, so don't be too tied to your reference photo, wherever you get it from. For most of this painting, I'm using more transparent colors, and you'll see me come on top of those with a little more opaque paint. And that helps to get um, a little bit of brilliance, I guess you could call it. A little bit of luminance to those ornaments. I'm trying to keep my strokes painterly and trying to keep them loose. I don't want to blend everything together. That's not necessarily the right way to do things in oils. This is just what I was trying to go for for this painting. And you'll see me wipe out some areas with a paper towel or with a q-tip here and there. Uh, I decided I wanted to add a couple more ornaments on the sides to even out the composition. I forgot to add the little I don't know what you call them, the tops of the ornaments that have the hook hangs onto. Forgot to put those in, so I had to wipe those out with a Q-tip. This is a very easy thing to do with oil paints since they take so long to dry. If you wanted to do the same with acrylics, you would wait for it to dry and then you could paint over it. Just don't be afraid to make changes in the middle of the painting if it's not looking the way you want it to. So to get the painterly look, I am putting thicker streaks of white to get that shiny reflective look on the ornaments. I'm not blending it in too much to the previous layer, or all it will do is lighten the color of the ornament. <coughs> I'm paying attention to where the reflections of light are on my reference photo to make it look a little more realistic. I'm also paying attention to where the shadows are on the reference photo. But other than that, I am doing whatever I want with this painting. A couple more painterly strokes here and there. And that is the finished painting. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know and leave a, a comment below the video and please like and subscribe if you would like to see more.